You, you combine five, make giant robot. But, oh, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> it, he was supposed to, he's the guy who ends up selling us the damn van that explodes at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody comes in, and, you know, he, he was basically just talking, you know, about all these different vehicles that we we're going to buy. Because we... Because the guy, uh, his uncle owns a car, car later dealership, and that's where part of the joke is supposed to be. See, because, you know the Little Things movie where Steve crashed my damn station wagon? By running over Josh? Yes? No? Yes, Captain. You totally skipped that part. <clears throat> Didn't you? Sorry, I keep no blanking mind. out. Don't go any street fights, right? These guys are connected. Anyway, you blanking out. Destroy you. Creatures, you will I mean, never destroy me. That reminds me. You know be the greatest birthday gift ever. What? If they just like announce when Diablo 2 3 is gonna come out. It's like yes, Blizzard has announced it. Now I can stop fretting and freaking out and being like, oh hey, what's well, gonna come out like a month after they announce it? I'm telling you, man, they're gonna announce the beta um, this year's BlizzCon. Eh, yeah, I might order on paper if you just like get the key. I mean, hey, <laughs> if Blizzard starts releasing things like uh, Diablo 3 and. Uh, and StarCraft 2 before Duke Nukem Forever ever is released, then that's a li another list of games that have come out uh, <laughs> before Duke Nukem Forever. With Team Fortress 2 being a net being vaporware that came out before Duke Nukem Forever. Diablo 3 is just like cock teasing me. Man, like, it's just like it's sitting there being like, you want to play me? And I'm like, yes, I do. Where you at? Yeah, I'm not here yet. Where do you gonna be here? I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm so very lonely. I give up my girlfriend for you, Diablo 3. Where are you? <laughs> Come spend many wonderful nights with me, slaying the demons of hell while having ragdoll physics of everything I punch dying and flying. I mean, come on, warrior, a warrior bum rush, and where you just like tackle into somebody and they go flying. That just that wins with me. I mean, like if I could have done that with somebody in World of Warcraft, I probably would have more appeal in the warrior. Because I, I really think charge actually should have like physically knocked the kid character down and charged him. Yeah, really. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, they get stunned for two seconds. But the two seconds don't do shit. I mean, it takes more than two seconds to get forward to somebody. And because you realize, oh, hey, oh, unless your reaction timing is like, I don't know, like a Korean, and you can just like react in the thought. Then again, I don't play Mushihima <laughs> Mushi Sara sama, so uh, I, I can't move twitch reflexes in less than a microneth of a second and dodge bullets that are covering my screen. Speaking of dodging, if you could physically dodge a World of Warcraft spell, that would make me happy. I mean, there's nothing that pisses me off more than having a gigantic pyro blast coming after me. Me being on an epic mount, nothing chasing me to the ends of the earth until it gets me and pisses me off. That does, that does make for some hilarity. <laughs> it's like, where is it gonna stop? You know, you think you lose it. And the thing is, is unless you have like 310 flying percent speed, it eventually catches up to you. If you have 310, you can fly forever. I'm not even joking. I mean, you just like this fireball will chase you, like no matter where you go. What? I can't hear you. See, that's that's when I just like put an auto cruise and go AFK while this fireball chases me and let my health regenerate to full and let it finally hit me. Well, actually, the fireball technically would have already hit you. The game will tell it to just do the damage to you, and yet the animation will still follow you. That's how it works. Yeah, it didn't used to work like that, Atkinson. It had to physically hit you before. Well, you certainly Which I found some old bullshit. Content is next to the right anymore. 
Mm. What made it even funnier is back then you can actually knock people off with spells. So I got knocked off my mount when I got nailed by that some bitch finally catching up with me. So it hit me, I'm like, okay, I've endured it. Woo! Oh my god! Speaking of which, I had another interesting thought in my mind today. I pictured like this really cool, like partially robed up, partial cleric looking, you know, like badass. You know, just kind of like standing there in front of like a bad guy, and then, you know, confronted the bad guy while he's about to go finish off another good guy. And he is like, yeah, I'm afraid you don't understand the gravity of things. Fortunately for you, I have a grasp on the situation, and like, he holds up his hand, and the bad guy just starts floating up in the air, and just start, he just like, makes like a, like a gripping moment, a gripping movement, and like, gravity starts crushing the guy and imploding him on the spot. Been drinking for the last four hours. And like, in, in my head I pictured uh, for a moment like an ad-lib over that. It was like, oh my god, bad magic puns. Ah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> 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 you know, he's like, you know, you don't understand the gravity of things when he picks them up with gravity. And then he's like, fortunately for you, I've got a grip on the situation. <laughs> Grasp the situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mocking you while we'll being crushed to oblivion. Oh, bad magic fun. <laughs> I don't know why I find it funny, but I do. Oh, bad magic pun. Oh, it hurts. Hey, can you do Russian accent? That's the Daniel comrade. I is a geo orbital destroyer, aka Zot, aka God. That is me. <laughs> yes, you mesh. I is Borat. <laughs> I come from Kazakhstan. My sister is number two prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom is number one. <laughs> The man at Ego. What the? Oh! How dare you tease me? Where's the plug? Where is it? Relinquish the plug to the laptop. Ow! How in God's name are you pinned like that? Is it physically even possible? Dude, cords in my room. Like, you don't even know. They. They have found a way to, like, genetically wrap themselves into each other to keep themselves from being torn away from themselves. Like, I'm sitting here trying to pull this plug, and it, like, I knew it was laid out in a straight path when I put it down there. I swear I to God, it. I'm hearing a buzzing sound coming from your mic. If that thing starts going like, boosh, boosh, and I start hearing Satan, I'm immediately stopping the recording, ripping off my headsets, and then killing myself. <laughs> Wait, just hold up. Is it doing it now? That nah, stopped. Is it doing it now? Yes. Interesting. So when my laptop's plugged in, it makes weird, freaky sound. Interestado. It sounds like a generator mo motor, a mag magnetic generator motor in the background. Well, that makes me wonder if it's actually just picking up my, uh... My, uh, blah, blah, my actual computer in the background. Hold on, that just for a moment. And now it just got louder. What do you mean just get louder? Pay no attention, you didn't hear the ventry little logout sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
oh, that might be part of the reason why, because you can actually pick up everything in the room. I'm seeing it, like, react to the fans on my computer. Oh my god! Well, you've got the sound down. Who the hell are you? You give me a message, I take to him. Very well, follow me. I love how people in this game knock on the door just to open the door.